Hello and welcome to Maxim's first tutorial on Max Q1061. In this tutorial, we will go through the unboxing of the of Max Q1061 EV kit. Also, uh, we are assuming that you have a Raspberry Pi board and an SD card loaded with the latest operating system of Raspberry, and also a keypad, um, a mouse, and a HDMI display available to you. Open the box and uh, remove the piece of paper that has the SFTP site information and then the protective bag that contains MaxU1061 kit, the header that connects the kit to the Raspberry Pi, and also the small box that has two extra MaxQ1061 parts. Carefully remove the MaxQ1061 kit uh, from the protective bag and uh, lay it on a flat surface. Also make sure that you have all the components inside the box including the MaxQ1061 kit, the header and the box that contains the two extra part. If there is anything missing, please contact Maxim's customer service. Locate pin 1 on the board and uh, with a pair of tweezers, insert the MaxQ1061 into the socket. Make sure the pin 1 of the part is aligned with the pin 1 of the socket and release the socket. So the next step is to connect the MaxQ1061 kit to the Raspberry Pi. So we're using the header that's supplied with the kit and place it on the Raspberry Pi, align the pins and rock it down gently on, until it goes down all the way. And uh, we grab the kit, align the holes of the kit with the header. Uh, from one side, we insert the pins into the holes and make sure everything, all the, all the pins are aligned. And again, rock it gently back and forth until it's firmly connected. Prepare an SD card with a Raspberry Pi image according to the Raspberry Pi documentation. Remove the mini SD card and insert it in the right direction to the SD card slot at the back of the Raspberry Pi. And now you are ready to connect the mouse, the keyboard, and the HDMI monitor cable. Turn on the monitor and then plug in the, the power supply. The LEDs on the board should turn on and you will see the boot up screen from the Raspberry Pi on the monitor. Just make sure the top switch is at the SPI and the bottom switch is at the remote. In the next video, we are going to go through the installation of the SDK.